St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The responsorial psalm, their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. 
and he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician. But the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of these words. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthew. He was a tax collector. If he would have been in this time, he would have been working for the IRS, getting your quarterly payments and your paid part of your paycheck. But Jesus called him, and he changed his ways and his life. He has called each and every one of us, you and your estate, me, my estate, each and every one of us. Are we changing our ways? Are we changing our life? That has to be the big question. Because the call is there. Somewhere in your life, Jesus called you. What do you have to change? What do I have to change? What do we have to change? That's for us to meditate on. For us to think about. Because Matthew, <clears throat> by changing his ways, put his life in danger. Because when he stopped collecting the taxes and following Jesus, there was a big threat to his life. He was betraying his boss, the state. And if you notice, when Jesus called him and said, follow me, all the other tax collectors came. Very important. If he, if he call me and I am not giving the good example at home, my family will not accompany me. I have to give a good example at home. Because if I come to Mass once in a while, when your kids grow up, they're going to go to Mass once in a while. And maybe. Who knows? But if they know that you go every day or if, and you invite them and you bring them and you keep inviting them, not every day because people have to work, but on weekends and the family gather together and pray together, that stays with them. So remember, others are looking at the way we act at home, at church, at the grocery store, in the parking lot. Yesterday I came to Mass to celebrate the one o'clock Mass. I know I am a slow driver. <clears throat> when I pull in here, there was a car trying to park in reverse, which nowadays is not difficult <laughs> with the new equipment. But big. Years ago, it was very difficult. Well, I stopped for the person to take the time to back up. The one behind me started, Well, I didn't say anything. When the person finished, I went to my parking. And next to me parks the lady that was honking at me. I look at her and I didn't say anything. And she came to me and she said, Oh, Father, I am sorry. I said, Well, you come into me because I am a priest. Otherwise, you would never come to the person that you honk at. Don't do it again. Well, I didn't realize that the other person, but well, that's what happens in life. We don't realize. We don't have eyes for, every, for, for, for somebody else. We don't have eyes for others. Only our problem. Why are you in such a hurry? Don't do it again. Keep going. Change your ways. 
think before you act. And that's exactly what Matthew did. He changed his ways, telling each and every one of us, we need to change our ways. All these people are gathered with him at the dinner. Instead of saying, what, what, what a beautiful thing, a conversion, Matthew came to eat with Jesus. They start doing what we all do best, criticize others. That's why Jesus given the answer that he gave them. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And mercy is more, more difficult to dispense than sacrifice. Because when Lent comes, you all will be looking for a, a, a very difficult sacrifice. Oh, I give up smoking. Oh, I give up sweets. Oh, I give up. Don't give up anything. Give up sin. If you give up sin, you will please Jesus. Because that's what he's looking for. For us to change our ways and stop sinning. <clears throat> Having listened to God's word, let us bring our prayers to the Father with courage and faith. For church leaders, may the peace and mind of Christ be their guide and their strength, let us pray to the Lord. For all in civil, civil power and authority, may Christ strengthen their conviction for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are facing difficult trials and challenges in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our faith community, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit continue to make us holy in the sight of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may they make their peace a place at the eternal feast of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the end of this terrible virus, that we can go back to normal life soon, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty and eternal Father, as we celebrate St. Matthew, we ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. He will become our spiritual bread. my brothers and sisters and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the, the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have known by the preaching of the apostles, to Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it might be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all hope. My holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave his thanks brother, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the challenge, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of you. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. And partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Archbishop, Enrique, his auxiliary, and all the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the Lord's Mali and Sian Fee. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Padre Pio, the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
o te libera. Amén. Te libera, oh Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, take Amen. away the sins of the Lord. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have no Lord. For all who say the word of my soul. minister will distribute communion, and those that would like to receive communion on the tongue need to wait until the end of Mass, go to the chapel and receive it there. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
<clears throat> Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O oh Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray, grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Eucharistic celebration has ended. We can go in peace. Amen. I stopped the rain for you so you can go home.
We are going to recite the rosary. Please stay for at least one decade of the rosary. Let's pray for us here, gathered here today, and for our family at home. First of all, we offer this rosary in thanksgiving to God for our Catholic Church, for the violence that is going on in our country, for our president. Let's offer this rosary also for the 54 days for our nation, especially at this time of election time, that God can guide us. Uh, Let's offer this rosary also for the end of the pandemic. We will recite the joyful mysteries today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the flood, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation, fruit of the mystery, humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death.